Such a cool looking fish. Look at that. I want to share with you guys something that is taking this nation by storm. Um, back in uh, October, I fished a tournament at Gunnersville, and it was an FLW event. And it was an extremely tough bite on one of the best lakes in the entire country. And I have never seen it that tough. And you know the fish are there, you know they're offshore and they're schooling, but we tried everything to catch them. And really, it came down to, for me, to fish shallow in the grass and try to pick off what I could up, up on the bank. And typically in the fall, that's how tournaments are won. Well, Paul Elias uh, threw the umbrella rig, the Alabama rig, and uh, he almost broke the FLW four-day record. And uh, since that event, uh, from coast to coast, um, every lake I even, you know, that I've ever fished, tournaments are being won on this rig. And uh, I want to share it with you guys today. Um, there's many different versions of it. It's, it's, it's an umbrella rig, and they've been around for years. Guys in California, they used to uh, drag them big swim baits on, on a three-way spreader. Um, California, you're only allowed to throw three on this rig. The Alabama rig's basically got five arms on it. And uh, what you have on this uh, umbrella rig is you got five arms and each one clips to a lure. And the idea is to have five lures swimming in a school on one retrieve. Um, this is the uh, Picasso schoolie rig. Uh, what I do, because you have to clip each bait on and then you got to put a swim bait trailer of some sort on the back, I prefer the Optimum Swim Bait Double Diamond, um, the three inch. And I'm going to show you how I rig that here in a second. What I do is I'll actually, while I'm at home, before I get on the lake, is I'll pre rig them all with the jig heads and everything. And uh, Picasso has the swim bait jig heads and they match up with the schoolie rig perfect. And you just clip them on. I just slide them back in the package. And then once you get them tied onto your rod, I'm using 20 pound P line fluorocarbon. And I'm using a, uh, a new rod that I developed um, with iRods, and it's, it's uh, one of their air versions. It's seven foot five. It allows you to make those long casts with the bait, and uh, it's got the perfect action um, for reeling it and letting those fish strike, and awesome backbone to hook those fish once you get them on it. So matching it up with an Ardent, uh, one of the new edge reels, and I'm using it with a seven three to one. Um, they have it in different speeds. Uh, this is just one of the new prototype reels, so this is what I can get my hands on. I'd probably recommend going with like a 5.2 to 1, um, get that slower, a little bit more um, uh, strength reeling in those uh, this big big rig. I basically have this one pre-rigged. This is actually the junior version, and we're here at Grand Lake, and because there's a lot of boat docks, I'd recommend going with a smaller version like this this junior. It's got a, um, a five inch wire instead of a six and a half inch wire and allows you to make easier roll casts and stuff if you're working on edges of docks or uh, points and so forth. And then um, we've got it rigged up with our eighth ounce um, Picasso jig head. And then I like to take over here my Optimum Double Diamond. Here we've got a Jackson Trout color. It's got kind of a pearly pink bottom, green back, watermelon. Um, it's just a color I like to throw. You can. The cool thing about this rig is you can throw so many different types of baits on the back of it. You can use grubs, you can use um, swim baits, you can use you know hollow belly types. I prefer this this double diamond on a rig like this. You're just trying to create as much vibration. That's what gets those fish attention. Then they look up and they see a big school of fish. So um, I take this double diamond and I'll take my scissors. And typically, if I'm rigging it on a jig head, I'd like to cut it right at those little line right there. But I'll go back a little bit further, and I'll tell you why. When you clip off that that tip. You've got a really big flat surface to work with, and uh, that allows for your bait to stay on your hook a whole lot better. So then I just hook it right down the middle, and I'll slide it. And just thread it right up on the back of that jig. Just push it over that barb, that hook keep, bait keeper, and it'll look something like that. And I'll rig up, you know, obviously you got to rig up five of them, so it takes a little bit of time. So I would definitely recommend it while you're in the garage talking about fishing with your buddies before you get out there. And once you rig up five of these, <laughs> you just start casting it. And uh, this is such an awesome way, especially getting new people into fishing. Um, you really can't go wrong with it. Um, you just cast it out and start reeling it in. And once you pull it out of the package, you know, and you got the jig heads, you want to spread each arm. And you want to spread them just far enough so they don't get tangled up every cast, but you want to keep them kind of close together because that's what the school of bait fish looks like in the water. And then once you get it fully rigged up and you get out there to cast it, if you start varying your retrieve, you'll notice the baits will kind of come together and then you kill it, it'll, they'll fall together and everything 
is in sync. And uh, that is exactly how school bait fish look in the water. And there really isn't anything I've ever seen more natural looking than this rig. And uh, it's just such a clever idea. It's kind of funny because you go to these jackpots and I'd say you might have 25 boats in a jackpot and 25 of the boats have this rigged on. So, you know, you're not really doing anything different than the next guy. You just got to go out there and catch them. You got to know where the fish live. And uh, they, they had actually found this technique to be so effective that the Bassmaster Elite Series, uh, which is a tour that I fish, has actually banned this rig. And uh, so no longer will, will we be able to participate throwing this rig. So now I get to go out here and, and show you show you in the world how to how I like to throw. Oh, so. God. oh that's a big one. Yeah, that's a good fish. And that one came off the middle one. Look at that. There's another one. Uh, he was hooked on the middle one. You can see the one that's balled up. That's what it's all about. That right there is what it's all about. Another spotty fish. Look at that. A lot of fish. It's a nice bat. And there it is. Ate that schoolie rig, Junior. And I mean, when it ate it, it slammed it. <laughs>